so hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are absolutely fine and sound any here i am back with another brand new video basically many of you are asking about the submission how we have to submit the projects so here we'll talk about it and what is how you have to complete the capstone project i have made a video i will link the video in the description do not worry about it you can check it out or let's see if the video gets published earlier okay so basically many of you are asking about the Genii AI intensive course. This is the course. If you have registered, then you can take part in it. And if you want to learn also, they can, then also you can just go through the videos which are available on the channel. Okay. There is not a big deal. It's a very easy course and we have to cover each thing step by step. Basically, if you want to complete the courses, okay, you have to complete all the assignments. You have to come to the courses section. I have made a separate course for it. You can see the five days AI intensive course. You have to click on view course and here you can clearly see the contents. Basically for day one, the content is here for day two. The content is here for basically day three. Also, basically what is there? So here I have combined all the courses like many of you are asking that we want a single video also or many of you are saying that we want individual video for the assignment so here i have covered basically you can see day one is here day two is here both the assignment a and b we have two assignments both a and b are covered over here similarly for day three I, uh, it was a little bit detailed so i made a individual videos because it will become at least 50 minutes if i explain everything because uh, we are here to learn only okay so here you can see all the resources and all the courses are here and many of you are having some queries like basically your query was that can we complete the courses anytime so yes you can complete it you can start the day one course in day three also day two course in day four also and you can complete all singly basically you can complete all in a single day also before the events concludes okay so here we have covered the first query second query is that uh, let me give an example so basically here you can see day one course is here day two course is here you must have received the email okay day three course is here so let me open for example i am opening the day three only okay so let me open over here so here you can see this is our notebook okay so here if i open here it's showing edit my copy i think by default it will show different thing but you have to click on me here okay you have to click over here and then you, a copy will be generated but before that you have to just set your phone number how you have to set the phone number you have to click over here okay you have to click over here and then go to the settings icon you can see you have to click over here and in the phone number section you have to verify now many of you are commenting that we are underage how we will get the certificates and how we'll get the badges also so for the basically for api creation only you need the age limit okay so you can use any other gmail account of your parents or you can create a gmail account with 18 plus of age okay so because here we have to create the api keys also okay so let me show you a quick demo so here is the basic a uh, basic web page okay web page not notebook so here you can see these are the notebooks okay now here many of you are asking that how we have to submit the notebook first of all first of all let me tell you how you have to configure the api key okay so here you can see if i open over here you can see they have mentioned the step so first of all you have to click on the add-ons and then click on the secrets okay as i have already created the api key if i try to add a secret you have to click on add secret if it is not showing like this click on it now here you can see the api keys deleted i think so okay so here you have to click on this google ai studio and you'll be redirected particularly to this page and here you can clearly see that all the things are mentioned over here so if you are just visiting it for the first time okay for that also i have made a video basically i hit the limit of creation of api key so if you want to know how to create the api key and set it you can watch this video i think so here it is yes set up the google ai studio and create the api key you can watch this video i'm trying to show over here if it works so here is our default api key if we have to create also you can just follow the way so day three api key like this you can just type okay you can type anything okay let's be little bit professional if i come over here day three api key 
you have to just name it and just select a project create project first of all let me delete the project i think the number of projects is exceeded so if i delete it let me wait a second let me delete older projects so here i am deleting the older projects and one more important thing if you have already created the api key once do not delete it or recreate it for each day you have to use the same api key until you are facing extensively huge issue which you can comment down below i will try my best to answer it okay so do not create multiple api keys because you may face some kind of issues so let's come over here to the api keys and i am showing you how you have to create it so you have to name your api key so here we are just using a test id one one and then you have to click on select a Google Cloud project create project and name the project that is basically angle 5d you can write anything you can write your name also as long as there is no restriction basically we have to complete the capstone project only in there only we have to add i think we will have to just modify everything don't worry a detailed video on the capstone project will be live shortly and when the capstone project will be live by the kaggle team i will make a separate video how you have to complete the capstone project also so let's create the project over here and here you can clearly see that the project has been created now we have to create the api key okay once you see like this click on create api key and here you can see the api key is being created over here so finally this kaggle 5 day we just now created and here is our api key you have to copy over here where is yes you have to come over here and in the value you have to just paste over here so you have pasted the api key now here you have to in the new secrets page okay in the new secrets page you have to just paste in the level section and then save it now finally we have enabled the api key okay now here you have to just run all one by one and make sure to run all one by one do not run at all now many of you are having second query which many of you are asking after the api key is set do we have to submit the assignments from day one to day five so the answer they have mentioned note no submission required they have mentioned it we have forwarded it to the team also that earlier it was not mentioned if you just watch our 1a video basically the first video then you will not see this over here so they have mentioned all the queries and one more important thing if you are getting waiting for the next available notebook like if you run over here and if you are getting here waiting for next available notebook basically in the first day there was huge traffic that's why if you get this thing you have to wait now regarding the submission we don't have to submit it basically these are for practice basically here if you see so here up to five days okay they are giving the topics they are teaching us they and if you are just not understanding you are following the video then also you are learning only so here up to day three we learned about introduction to agents and working with agent tools and context engineering and then and day four we'll be having agent quality session so basically here all these are for learning purpose uh, once you complete up to day five there will be come to the capstone project okay i will tell you about the capstone project also in brief and i have made a detailed video also which will be published shortly and here i am going to talk about basically you have seen we don't have to save the project okay now still many of you want to save your project also then what you can do you can click on save version okay when you click on save version and just save it you see that it's running and after a minute it shows failed status okay it shows failed status in such cases you don't have to worry basically whenever you run a notebook basically it's auto saved automatically you can see here draft saved it's showing that means the notebook was already saved and here i think my notebook is also saved also so if the version is not getting saved it is also still auto saved okay when you'll come over here if i show you a quick demo let me show you a quick demo here only let me add okay so i'm adding the subscribe to my channel also subscribe to the my channel and do hype the video also so if i am adding and i'm just clicking on anywhere okay if i run also there is not a big deal so here you can see all things are done okay so if i come over here and just close this notebook page wait a second it's not saved so I'm 
So if I try to close it, let's see what happens. So let's come over here and click on edit my copy. So I'm showing you a rough demo so that you can understand. So the session is starting and let's see whether it works or not. So here, if I come over here and see, you can see the file was already saved. So if in if it is not saving over here, you have to not worry about it. OK, you don't have to worry about it. It's auto saved as a draft. So the saving thing is done. The submission of assignment. We don't have to submit the assignments. We have to submit the capstone project only now. We have shared the solutions of the API key, how to set it also. Now regarding the capstone project, what is a capstone project? Okay. So just like you study in colleges or school or basically prepare for any competitive exam. In simple words, I am making you understand what is capstone project. So basically when you prepare for an exam or whatever you are studying. So these day one to day five, you are learning. Basically you are completing the syllabus and the capstone project in simple words. We can say it's a exam. After learning, after practicing, after just testing your skills, you are just giving the exam. So it will be a basically just like an exam. Uh, it will not be like that. You have to sit in online live exam. You'll be given plenty of time. Basically, I think there will be time from 14th of November till December. So there will be plenty of time. You have to apply all the skills. OK, you have to apply all the skills. You can see say like it's a practical exam. Also, you can see it. So whatever you have learned from introduction to prototype to production, do not worry that day four and day five will be live. I know you are just thinking all solutions will be there. Don't panic at all. So here basically the capstone project. OK, so the capstone project is basically whatever you have learned from day one to day five. You have to apply. OK, you have to apply your skills. Basically here, if you see here, I have also shown uh, if you have seen the tutorials, I have also shared like how you can change the values like if it's showing false. It's showing false output, then how we have to change it true and how we have to modify the basically runners. What are runners? What are basically helper functions? All things are covered on the video. Do check it out now here. Regarding the capstone project. OK, regarding the capstone project, as I said, you have to apply your skills, whatever you have learned from day one to day five. We have to build a real project and I think it will be a unique project. You don't have to copy everyone's project and basically many of you are asking about the certificates and prizes. OK, so basically here you will be getting prizes like Kaggle swag. It can be back bottle or mystery box, which will be revealed later on. And also you'll be featured on the Google social media channel and also your project will be also featured and chances of there that you may get a chance to get an internship not directly but with the project we will interact with them they will be guiding we will not give you directly job which many people are just spamming and i was literally frustrated with the discord server of their team no one is literally managing and all are just spamming anything some are abusing and some are just randomly texting girls etc all they are just spamming so i will recommend if you are facing issue you can comment down below you can reach out to me on my social media handles and i will try my best to address your query okay and if the query is similar i will make a video like i made yesterday for the FAQ video. OK, you can see I made a FAQ videos. All things are covered now here regarding many people are having multiple qu queries regarding capstone project. So regarding building, do not worry if you are following this channel, then all the day one to day five, including the capstone project will be covering. So make sure to check it out and share the channel with your community members. And now here the swag. Basically, many people are getting misguided. They are following random YouTubers video and what they have done. They have basically just like in the October fest we are having. We were having in 2019th or 2020th. If you have seen the or attended the October fest. Basically, it was an open source coding uh, contribution event which happens every year on October. So what they did, they spammed the community. Likewise, here they are just spamming the community and just creating it, thinking that they will get the swag. Now, here's the catch for the swag, which many of you are not getting. So who will be getting the swags? Basically, the uh, sorry, swags will be given to top 12 
participants okay it can be in group of team with which will be revealed on 14th also so here you can see that they have mentioned in the faq if you read the faq you'll only understand and even in my video i haven't made the clickbait title you can clearly see that here we have uh, i have already explained all the things regarding the event that the swags will be given only to the top people i think earlier it was 10 or 12 i don't remember exactly but i have explained this so here top 12 winning teams basically whose capstone project will be best they'll be featured on google social media channel youtube channel of the kaggle also they'll be receiving some cool swags also okay so only the top 12 not everyone like i have seen more than 20 uh, to 20 not 2 or 5 lakhs more than 4 lakhs they have mentioned so i think the number will be huge also or less also there is no issue even it 1 lakh people are participating only the top 12 are winning so if you are thinking this event is only for swag so don't participate if you are thinking for learning also whether you get the swag you can try your luck so you can just know what you have to do now regarding the certificates for completing day one to day five these are for only your practice first first you'll be getting the kaggle badges on your profile but you won't be getting any certificates for certificates you need to complete the capstone project and i'm repeating the capstone project detailed video will be available on the channel do not worry about it you have to complete it you have to just submit it how you have to submit it how you have to make the kaggle basically the what we call notebook public and how you have to submit a submission video will be there how you have to create the capstone project will be also there so do not panic at all all things will be covered over here so this is the quick thing if you want to get the summary basically the summary of the video is that here we have to apply a capstone project we have to apply all the skills we have learned for applying the api key you can take help from the above video i'll share the video link also basically i'm sharing the course link only in the description you can check it out and then you have to just watch it and complete the challenge so this was the quick update which many of you are having i have uh, i also have answered all your queries make sure to subscribe the channel hype the video and thank you guys have a great day ahead and if you want to complete other events like google cloud arcade where there is surety of 100 percent swags you can come to the courses and just watch the first video so thank you guys have a great day ahead do like the video and just subscribe the channel